So we have white asparagus with curd, gooseberry and truffle. So uh, we make a gooseberry uh, liquor and then set it on a plate. The white asparagus again is just, uh, this one's just uh, boiled in water, three quarters of fruit. Uh, we, we blow torch it just to give it that charred flavour. Then we've got brined uh, white asparagus. So we utilise all of it. And it, not only that, you've got different uh, flavours and, and textures. Then we've got, uh, then you have uh, raw white asparagus where uh, we slice it and put it into ice water. So you've got three different, all one ingredient, but we, we, again, it comes down to the textures and how we perceive the plate to be, as far as, you know, how it's composed. We've got a fresh curd. And then what we, what we did was, we, when the gooseberries were in season, we, we pickled some, we salted some and we brined some. So these are the ones that were salted. So we just put them in salt and just left them. It gives it, they hold up really well. It's the different flavour profile. You've got the salad matter. So this is a vegetarian on the on the a la carte as well. My chocolate. And then we have different leaves just to garnish it. So we have a look, this is a very popular dish. Yeah, although it's a vegetarian dish, we have a lot of people who are non-vegetarian. So you have little uh, rocket flowers, oxalis flower that tastes of apple. The red vein soil. But again, it's a very light dish but full of flavour. White asparagus, gooseberry and curd.